What do you think are, is in these balloons right here? Now, why do you think it's helium? That's right, because it floats. It's, uh, helium is a gas that's less dense than air. And uh, so one can lift a certain weight with it, but not a very big weight. Uh, in fact, if I would put any significant weight on here at all, it would simply go to the floor quite rapidly. And so helium uh, in a balloon is pushed upward, and it's pushed upward by a force that is exactly equal to the weight of the air that was where the balloons are now. That air has been pushed aside in order to make space for the balloons, and it pushes up on the balloons. And so uh, helium, of course, uh, can lift things, but not very much. What do you think are in those balloons way up in the ceiling? Helium? Hydrogen? Well, those are all good guesses, because those are gases that are less dense than air. But this is a pretty remarkable case, because I can now put weights on here. The weight that brought that balloon down? Uh, this is evidently a very special kind of gas, right? I can put on even another, and it still doesn't come down. Do you know what's in those balloons? It, no, it's exactly the same helium as in this, these balloons except the string is attached to a hook in the ceiling. <laughs> so it turns out that different gases are, have different efficiencies when they lift, but you can't do very much better than helium. Hydrogen is a tiny bit better. It has a little bit more buoyancy than, uh, than helium, but uh, very little. And so uh, there is no magic gas that will uh, lift uh, very much more effectively than helium itself does. So that's a little bit of a trick, but it, it's a reason to caution you. When you do experiments in science, you do have to be very careful that you understand the conditions under which the experiment is being done. And when you have a hook in the ceiling, all bets are off, right? <laughs>